Conservation biologists have designed a variety of objective means to measure biodiversity empirically. Each measure of biodiversity relates to a particular use of the data. For practical conservationists, measurements should include a quantification of values that are commonly shared among locally affected organisms, including humans. For others, a more economically defensible definition should allow the ensuring of continued possibilities for both adaptation and future use by humans, assuring environmental sustainability. As a consequence, biologists argue that this measure is likely to be associated with the variety of genes. Since it cannot always be said which genes are more likely to prove beneficial, the best choice for conservation is to assure the persistence of as many genes as possible. For ecologists, this latter approach is sometimes considered too restrictive, as it prohibits ecological succession. Topic: Taxonomic diversity. Biodiversity is usually plotted as taxonomic richness of a geographic area, with some reference to a temporal scale. Whitaker described three common metrics used to measure species-level biodiversity, encompassing attention to species richness or species evenness. Species richness, the simplest of the indices available. Simpson Index Shannon Wiener Index Recently, another new index has been invented called the Mean Species Abundance Index MSA. This index calculates the trend in population size of a cross-section of the species. It does this in line with the CBD 2010 indicator for species abundance. Other measures of diversity Alternatively, other types of diversity may be plotted against a temporal timescale, species diversity Ecological diversity Morphological diversity Genetic diversity Thazy Different types of diversity may not be independent. There is, for example, a close link between vertebrate taxonomic and ecological diversity. Other authors try to organize the measurements of biodiversity in the following way traditional diversity measures species density, take into account the number of species in an area, species richness, take into account the number of species per individuals, usually species, individuals x area, diversity indices, take into account the number of species the richness, and their relative contribution the evenness, e.g., Simpson Index Shannon Wiener Index Phylogenetic diversity measures, include information on phylogenetic relationships among species Phylogenetic diversity PD, Index, Faith 1992, Topology-based measures Taxonomic distinctiveness, Vane Wright et al., 1991, Taxonomic diversity, Warwick and Clark 1995, Taxonomic distinctness, Clark and Warwick 1998, Functional diversity measures, include information on functional traits among species categoric measures functional group richness FGR, e.g., Tillman et al., 1997 continuous measures with only one functional trait, e.g., Mason et al., 2003 multivariate measures, with many functional traits functional attribute diversity FAD, Walker et al., 1999 convex hull volume, Cornwell et al. 2006 functional diversity FD Petchy and Gaston 2002 topic scale diversity may be measured at different scales these are three indices used by ecologists alpha diversity refers to diversity within a particular area, community or ecosystem, and is measured by counting the number of taxa within the ecosystem, usually species. Beta diversity is species diversity between ecosystems, this involves comparing the number of taxa that are unique to each of the ecosystems. Gamma diversity is a measurement of the overall diversity for different ecosystems within a region equals equals see also